What the heck? Hang on. That looks like Alchemoth. That looks like Earth and Alchemoth. Hmm. And Xenoblade 2 and Xenoblade 1. Yo, seamless. Yeah, there was no... No great, no like black screen transition between fights and cutscenes and fights, like in two or or one actually. You're doing it seamlessly, so they're doing a lot of yeah. They're doing cutscenes in engine now. Interesting. Oh dear. <laughs> we actually lost the tutorial fight because we're on hard mode. That's funny. All right, Whew. that was actually tighter than I thought. Yeah, you won't, you ain't beating that unless you actually know how to uh, CC them. Okay, I caught on the second time. Break only happens if you hit him the side. They are front loading with a lot of cutscenes right now, right? I mean, I'm fine with it. It's a lot of world building stuff, easing us into this. Uh, it's a lot of stuff going on after all. Clones, 10 year lifespan, etc, etc. So yeah, start off in the the starting area of tree is a, is a battlefield that were fresh off. Where everything is desolate, yeah. They're definitely taking on a bit of a darker tone on this one, aren't they? Like, even more so than Xeno 1. Alright. Guys ready to hear what the battle theme sounds like? The generic battle theme, assuming we get one. All right, let's hear it. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. We're getting to the fun piano rhythms now. Yo, violin solo? Alright. We got to hear a good chunk of it. We got, we got to a violin solo in the main theme. We didn't quite get to hear a full loop, I think, but I think that was probably close to the end of it. Either way, heck yeah. They're doing some fun stuff with uh, different instruments now, so very happy with it. Oh, we can fight while swimming? Truly next generation. Yeah. Previously, you cannot fight in the water. Now you can fight in the water. Truly next generation. Amazing. Actually though, it really is amazing because this would have taken an entirely new suite of animations to implement. So hey, good on them for expanding the scope. I don't really know what I was trying to do there. But I, f I figure it's... It's not one of my streams if I don't jump at a wall a little bit, right? I just felt like giving you the credit, but don't worry, you can thank me later. Huh? You're a right Muppet, Lance. Did someone actually just call someone else a Muppet? There we go. What are we hitting? There's a there's an enemy in the ground. How are you sure what's happening? Alright, 
Yeah, it was a little odd, but whatever. Let's not question it. We shall not question it, and uh, we will move on to fighting the elite. Get in topple. All right. We're not gonna get another chance, so we're gonna have to land the cancel and hope that it's enough. Hopefully it's enough. Ah, we missed. Hit the break, please. Hit the topple. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, hard mode is definitely hard. I'm enjoying myself. This is challenging. I hope we can make use of this. You know, I haven't actually heard them, like, fall to their deaths. Like this. And what they say after. They don't say anything. Oh. No funny, this was the fault of negligence type messages, huh? Maybe later. This is looking good. Yeah, we, we, we aimed at the wrong target. Everything's going... <laughs> rip. Okay, we know who to target first now, this time. What's wrong? Too worried about your buddies to fight? Can't have that. Alright. <laughs> he was just one week away. One week away from retirement. Oh, wow. This is some entertainment. Oh. They're gonna make us play as each row lead once before they let us swap between freely? Well, I mean... I guess. I bet that's gonna happen if the other team too. We're gonna, re gonna reunite right back in the middle of the forest. Yeah, not so. Hey, I know we said the last time that if we see each other we're going to be as enemies, but... Could, could we call a truce for that? Can we get a truce How on that? So good at finding us. Manana master of food, stews, baked goods, fry ups. Can even cook up a mean Gonzalez eyeball. Wow. Eyeball. You have to kill Gonzalez first. Both Agnes and Kevis assigned. No. no! But I don't really have that many theories at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as long as those two are having fun, I suppose. Guys, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Yo, this, this, this... We are kind of in a bit of trouble, but the music's going in like mad. Frogs versus crabs. You get a no pawn coin for saving these guys? Okay. Fine. Why are we hyping? Why are we hi allied with brogs? It's only for the no pawn coins. More, the more dialogue repeats, the more likely it ends up in memes. Yeah. I'd be surprised if Lance has not already got a memetic uh, taste of meat or something. Like, everyone just keeps. If people aren't drawing him with stakes right now, I will be vaguely disappointed in the Xenoblade community because Man what a bunch of jokers. The no pawn mafia is here. Mehehehe. Shio Shio is not no pawn of dubious origin. Doubt. Doubt. You're calling the affiliation objective. Tell me quick. Shio Shio is traveling trade upon, not bound to any pawn or man. Saw a light shining here, so took it upon self to investigate so-called haps. A no pawn vagrant then. Man. Is there any way you guys aren't? Why well, have to call vagrant? That would show real lack of respect. You know the Vagnus or Kevis, right? How about itinerant then? Meh, suppose that's slightly better. 
Anyhow, any friend that shares your meat soon turns a customer and vice versa. So what kinds of things do you sell? Oh, search headgear and bunny choker and all that jazz. Shoshu deal in anything. As Shoshu meet friends here is also fate. Shoshu give good price, so please to buy lots. I'm a little worried about our finances. <laughs> You're right, especially since we won't be paid bounties from our colonies anymore. In that case, please to sell any and all things of monetary value to Shoshu. <laughs> Forfeit all mortal possessions to no pawn. You sold all your cell only collectibles to ship. Wow! <laughs> we didn't even have a choice in that! It's just poof, all gone. And we got some money back. In before, that's actually less money than we can get by selling to like some other place. Pleasure doing business. You're not gonna buy our tasty sausages? Sure, sure, only buy goods which can sell at high price. It's basic business sense. Wow, suddenly I feel like we got ripped off. <laughs> It's alright, I think both parties benefited here. No! The no pawn stole of money value! I think we might want to make a habit of trading of no pawn like this to earn money. Mehe, friends feel like becoming regular customers. Heart of Shiu Shiu Soul will be more than happy to buy from friends whenever and wherever. What do you mean, wherever? When friends find items, Shiu Shiu can confirm using terminal and wire money right back. Oh no! <laughs> The no pawns found out about wire fraud. Next, they'll be sending emails claiming to be no pawnic princes, ex out no pawnic princes that have money locked up in offshore accounts that can't be accessed. But you can access them for them for a small fee, and then you'll get the millions of dollars back. A portion of it will be yours. You're evolving, and I don't think I like it. Sure, sure thing. Friends, not complain. Yes, yes. It sounds good to me. Hmm, dealing with independent no pawn has the benefit of being untraceable by a fall of colonies. Oh no! <laughs> you know what? I, not wrong, right? We are currently persona non grata from the two main pieces of civilization. We can't use the existing banking features, that's for sure. So now we have to deal with shady offshore accounts. We're trading in- We're trading in no pawn crypto now because we need to evade taxes. We don't want to be caught by our taxes. Now we deal in Bitcoin. Wait, shit. We've been collecting nope on coin. Is that what that is? Have we been... Have we been collecting nope on cryptocurrency this whole time? Well, I mean, it's physical money, so it's clearly not cryptocurrency, but still. It's a strange barter economy trade. Thing that's going on. You know what? I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call it nope on crypto anyway. It's funnier. You know how they say crypto is usually the realm of criminals? Because it's untraceable? Well, we're criminals right now in the eyes of the law. So we have to do in crypto. This is what this game has pushed us to. I can't believe we've stooped this low. It sure makes transactions easy. This reads like a crypto ad now. <laughs> then it decided from today on, Shushu count friends among own patrons. Shushu will abide here for some time. If friends need anything, please to holler. He will, thanks. That's one difficulty taken care of. Yeah. Alright, Tommy finally got some rest. Quest complete. Join the No Pond Pyramid scheme. Apparently not that rare. They are literally giving us... You know what? This is the Nopon NFTs, right? We've been dealing... We've been dealing in Nopon Crypto. This is the Nopon Crypto, right? This is the Nopon NFTs. They're telling us to collect them all. Oh, he, he called another... Called another subunit. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> the Switch is <laughs> trying to contain this level of epicness and it norm... That is normally not able to process. All right. Yo, the music. Is this the engage the enemy of tree? Sounds like it. I'm just gonna shut up and listen to this. I did this. Whoa. There's time for that later. Ah, right. 
I heard a motif from Engage the Enemy. And that's a motif from Counter Attack. That's another motif from counter it from uh, engage the enemy. There's so, so many callbacks in this song. Get sliced to itsy bits. If it was a time, really take a full voice clean out. Ah, is it time? Mio, try again. Cancel the interlink after we jump. What's the plan? Looks like the time's come. The flute. What are you talking about? Fine, ready when you are. It's a multi from Tree's main theme. Yeah, he was keeping it under there. Makes sense. The multi from counter attack again. I just see it setting up finding all the late motifs. I am I am thoroughly enjoying myself right now. I was waiting for the big Xenoblade feeling moment, and this is it. Consciousness. Right. That's good. Which leaves someone who deserves a real thrashing. Damn that timing. Nothing. You're dead meat. Holy shit, this is epic. <laughs> God damn, this game is awesome. <laughs> okay, we've got instantly. We've, we've got Ouroboros for all three of us now. Give me another good look at the guy's face. I think, I don't think he's a previous character. But oh, it's you. Maybe a minor character. If not, he could be original. I'm. I am trying so hard to find links to previous games. <laughs> I see. Hmm. I'm so sorry. All I remember is that I was fighting against some abhorrent creatures. And you tell me it was you. So this is the consul. This is how he really looks. He's fading. Just like during a homecoming. No! I don't 
Nope, no way. You're not sending him on. You realize how messed up that is? Huh? You think so? How do you not... Think about the things this guy did. He tried to kill us all and rob the soldiers of their remaining life. You're right. Both of you are right. And Mio? Honestly, I'm not sure I would. Okay. No rest for the wicked. Oh, I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> just now, I felt his essence brush past me. It felt just the same as ours. So, I feel I have to do this, you know? Mm. Mew, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? Same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. It's fair. You know, right now this like this whole ceremony that they're doing is presented as just kind well, of like the started now. Yeah, it's a respect Sometimes for the dead kind of thing. He's just too kind. I'm wondering if it actually Neither does anything in the cosmology. He too by the book. An airhead. That's what he is. Don't think he's thinking about it too deeply. Just doing it because it's part of his nature, eh? Hmm. Weirdo. I concur. Mimi. Sorry. You didn't have to help. It's fine. It's our duty. I'm worried. I didn't play well. But why? You did it expertly. Just like last time. I still... can't stop shaking. Because of the flame clock? Yeah. I was... terrified. Still, all thanks to your decision, we're alive. You're really... something. It was... a team effort. And the reason I bring that up is because I'm thinking at some point we are going to actually refuse to play for somebody. Maybe like the final final boss, you know, like I feel like that they're gonna use that as a, as a moment, you know, like it feels like that's gonna be a story beat, like they're gonna meet the one person slash being who doesn't even deserve that something like that you know and they're gonna play it and it's gonna be it's gonna be a really impactful moment that's my guess excuse me is this a private party or can i interject i was thinking i might head out alone next is that allowed you want to see with your own iris eh pretty much Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. I still don't get why the vaguely evil Council of Vagueness has theater lighting going on during their meetings. Seems a bit extra, you know? But then again, I guess all, all these folks are kinda extra. All of them have that thespian background. Ouroboros, fight me! Oh 
Okay. That was close call. Almost flattened like buttery pancake. Ah, sorry. He doesn't have the red eye. I guess he's Apology not seeing us. Accepted. He's not seeing us as the weird shadow demons. Hey, are you Ouroboros too? That's really untrue. Manana is just Manana. Ah, that's a relief. I really didn't want to have to fight a Nopon. Oh, Valdi, by the way, if I may. Mm, it's just... What are you guys doing? <sighs> oh. Yeah! Are we still fighting then? That was awesome. Okay, yeah, he's he's definitely not seeing us as weird got, shadow please. demons. Come on, bring it. <laughs> You can't beat me. Here I come. Okay, this is a this is a fight. This is a serious fight to the death, right? Oh, he's a hero. Oh. Okay. H9. Oh. Wait. No pawns are just norm. No pawns are not part of the system, huh? They just age normally. They're not part of the system. Oh no. Mamba deceased. He is dead. I was holding out hope, but nope. Cause you know, he was a temporary party member and he had voice lines and everything. I was hoping that maybe he's not dead, you know? Maybe he joins us as a hero later on. But no, he's faded out, he's deceased. He has ceased to be. Unless they're juking us. They might be juking us. It could be possible that they did all that effort into making a temporary party member that leaves permanently after a short while, it is true. Ethel is on term 10, so... Yeah. She's not long for this world, I guess. Sedge. Yeah, the unknown pawn is age 28. He's 20. Fair enough. Yeah, no pawns are not part of the system. What is this? So like, where do they come from then? Are they just natives? Are they natives of the land? Do the... Does the palace just send no pawns to be attached to these teams? How do the no pawns feel outliving everybody else that they work with? Hmm... This raises so many implications. I have many questions. No pawns can't wear an iris. Well, yeah, I know. But still, we've got this. We've got this entire system working here of all the different sentient species, and then there's no pawns. They're just running around and trying to create cryptocurrency and inviting people into the pyramid schemes. No idea what's going on there. In th until they were just part of the neutral system, no pawns could be drivers. Oh, some of them. Tora couldn't, but you know. It's weird that no pawns are outside the system this time. Very strange. It's good to keep a record. More colonies added. Oh, um. Oh, gee, it's getting late. <laughs> oh, we're almost at three hours, though. And drug dealing. Yes, no pawns are notorious for breaking bad. A little scamp. Oh, hey, a rainbow. Yo, <clears throat> wait. <clears throat> Can't spell rainbow without rhyme, baby. All right. Got that out of the system. But as long as it keeps no pawn happy, you'll be doing me a favor. They're they're at their they're at their wits end. They're about to start selling cryptocurrency to us. They're gonna start cutting our organs out and selling them on the black market. The sneaky little devils they are. Uh, what? Well, now I know you're all jokers. Hey, he said the line. Hooray! Woohoo! We're all a bunch of jokers. Yeah. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> you look a bit peaky, Lenny. You okay? Noah, I let down Django and the others. Tell me what happened. The team was wiped out. He ran into rampaging monsters at Sonata Saddleback. That's Grave Planet Country. 
and they attack in swarms. Yeah, there were so many that we were just overwhelmed. A power frame was broken and the others defended me. He was so close to the colony. I'm sorry. Noah, I want to ask you to do something for me as an offseer. Play for my friends. Please send them on, Django and Olivia Ann and Marlon, before monsters get to them. Of course, can you give us the coordinates? I'll send the info to you, Iris. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, so many so many of these are so sad. game is so sad sometimes. You know, I've been actually thoroughly invested in the side quests lately. They all have their little narratives going on and like... Yeah, it's it's cool. This was a nice find. They've stepped up the... even like... this one is like just a small side quest, right? But it fits thematically with the rest of the game and, and that's it's like... Man, that sucks. Just hearing about it, you know? It seems you can use your heads, even if just a little. I will choose to trust in my late friend's words. Hmm. Wait. Guernica? Bandem? Gee, that makes us feel a lot better. Bandem? I meant what I said. If an eye patch, like so Bandem, are you? What will you one do of after them? this? Save your breath, Mio. It's not like he'll answer you anyway. I have something to take care of. Oh, so you'll answer her. Even if it puts soldiers on your trail. Uni is so sassy right now. <laughs> nah, still not sound right. I'll teach you the melody. We'll sign him together. Okay. Who sent off seer in past Simimias Redactis? Redact say he can't die because duty of Redact is to send everyone. So Simimi promised to do for Redact. I see. Thankings. Goodbye, Redact. Man. <laughs> That whole quest was really, uh, it was really melancholic. Wow, I didn't expect that. And now he's going to go from seeing me to see me off. And they had to end it in a pun, didn't they? Uh, of course they did. How? But they're too strong. Ha ha ha, I love it! This, this is the exact thing I wanted. Ooh, you look like you want to go another round. That's right, not gonna let you take your win and go. Woohoo, it's all kicking off now. Bring it. Oh. Right into another one? Okay. One more round. Nagamo, you up for it? Ooh yeah, I'll beat you black and blue. Oh, they just drop. Oh, they're losing members after every round. More than a dipping. I see. Did they actually level up though? That's a neat detail. I think they actually did level up. They they went from twenty seven to twenty eight. I see the gimmick. You literally are leveling them up. Which of these is not a benefit of inflicting days? Oh, <laughs> uh. Wow, they're testing out some battle mechanics. Well, at least I know this one. Which of these combo rods is wrong? Beguiling charms? Ah. My name is going to spe class specific techniques. Class specific. 
That means the ones that can't be transferred, right? Tether knots. I think. Which attacks weaken the enemy. Debuffs. I must say some enemies think they're in trouble. Recommend rage, yeah. What's up next, Tyle? Next is questions related to situational awareness that is vital for battle. Absolutely, no gaps in my knowledge. Maybe I'll study up just to be safe. Oh, you get a chance to study up? Well, you know what, let's just dive right in because I'm pretty sure I remember most of it. After copper is... Uh, tin is the bottom, yeah. Tin, copper, iron, and steel. Name of the desert in the Faunus region is the Danak Desert. Name of the jewel that can be mined in the Asia region. Name of the jewel. Wow, damn. Deep cut this one. I think it's a delicate bell, right? Where the colony Sigma and Colony 9 like, ever by plane? The colors of smoke from air drops, it's red. Okay, I only have two questions that I'm not 100% sure on, but I'm pretty sure I got the rest right. Is how you both measure up. Unfortunately, Team Zakir falls just short of a perfect score. Oh, what? Snuff this. Noah, I have no comments. Who marks? What? Get in. Oh, I got lucky with the... I got lucky with the collectible question. That's the only, That was the one I was really unsure about because I don't fully remember. I mean, I, had, I did a lot of collecting so I vaguely remember, but not bad. <laughs> Wait, I thought they knew they were clones. Well, I mean, okay, maybe they knew the clone part. Maybe they didn't know the... I guess they were reusing identities. Or maybe it's deeper than I thought and I didn't realize. Uni. For all that, I'm not seeing any Agnian corpses or weapons. What does it mean? Something else is lurking. Sparks. How could they have ended up this way? It was Immovable Gonzalez. Ah, uh, healer boy. We still don't know exactly what happened back then. I don't know if we'll ever get more details about it, but... Yeah, you know what, they probably they probably will talk about it. They'll probably, so they'll probably have a nice little sit down and they'll talk about what happened in their past and all those people that they lost along the way that they've been hinting at so far but they haven't actually shown us. And it's gonna be nice and emotional and I'm just gonna be lying on the floor crying because this is how Xenoblade games go. Wait, Ryan? Ryan Tunnels? Wait... Uriah? Hmm. Hmm. Uriah was a titan that we mostly spent inside it too. In two. Also, I mean, we had that other area that was like Melnuf's shoulder, which sounds very close to Mainuf. Obviously, there wasn't a Mekonis shoulder, but there was a Bionis shoulder, you know. This, they're throwing in things that are making me think, you know. What exactly is this world? We know thematically it's a combination of 1 and 2, but, you know, is it literally a combination of 1 and 2? That's what I'm thinking about right now. Chad, if you know the answer, don't tell me, obviously. I'm just talking out loud. I'm talking out loud and theorizing, because I did notice one thing. And that's, uh... This thing down here. I can't, I can't really point it, point at it right now, but... That thing down there at the bottom of the the bottom of the map that's vaguely to the left of the bottom that kind of looks like a titan, right? And right at the top too, that also looks vaguely like a titan. The rest of it looks like normal landmasses, but you know, it's enough to make one think. It looks like a, it vaguely resembles like if one or two titans were jammed into a 
a regular landmass. And now we're wandering to a place called the Orion Tunnels. It does make one think. That's what we could call a gemstone. Do you guys not see the webs? I guess do you guys not care? Gemstone need careful handling. Riku will also go. You're gonna get attacked by a giant spider. It's gonna happen. Watch. Wait, Riku, Manana. In three, two, one. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. My timing is impeccable as always. This blight on personal record. Maybe they can't see the red iris from all the way up there. Wait, are, are you are, are you serious? How? Okay, okay, don't stand in areas. Got it. What? You're making me fight an entire. Oh. You're making me fight an entire entire Pharonis? What the heck? What the heck? Fighting the Toidle. Was that all? Oh, it was all fake this whole time. Oh, wait, no, it's that dude. Did he possess him? What did he do? Have you ever felt so much fondness that it made you quiver? <sighs> that voice. Long time no see. You forgot about me. I missed you. Wait. All these sayings that have to do with time. Healer boy. They ring so insufferably hollow when you only have ten years on the clock. Healer boy. It doesn't feel real. But you know. No. It can't be. Noah. Uni. Riku, Lands. Wait, I, I have to tell you, I am overwhelmed with emotion. What the hell? This this ain't right, yo. You're an. That's his name. Sincerely, I'm on the verge of tears. You're. I just thought of a great idea. I'm right. right into it. Did it? We did it, chat. Okay, overkill. I can't go too loud. It's really late. One level above. Just one level above. On hard mode. Strategy and planning. It paid off, baby. Get a good taste of it, of my elation. Cut the crap! What are you droning on about? I don't buy it. I refuse to believe you're him. You aren't our Yorin. Yorin saved our lives. <sighs> Watch out! <sighs> Hmm. 
Urine. 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 Wait a minute. Did he not bleed red? Huh. Oh, so that's so sad. Did he not bleed red? Huh. Interesting. Why are we seeing them off? I know they were only hollow vessels. But ultimately, we chose to fight and kill them. And nothing can change that fact. Even if there's no one to actually see off, we have to atone for that. Mm. In nutshell. Oh, I see. That's actually a really good atone. perspective. Huh? I don't know the significance of the moats either, because you would think that trying to send off an inanimate object wouldn't hey, actually do okay anything. It's kind of. But they're emitting yeah, moats, so curious. All right, guess you're all weirdos. Still, kind of strange. I wonder when it all started. I can't tell you exactly when, but I would surmise it started out as a kind of process for the upkeep of the world. Sounds like a crazy kind of process. This is all going way over my head. Quite simple, actually. It gives a sense of security. Lets you think your dead friends are looking out for you from above. Alleviating feelings of guilt and of loss. That's how I understand it. A morning ritual. Yeah, okay, but ain't there plenty of people who don't care about that? What matters is that it is there. You don't need to pay attention. You don't need to do anything. But the way it is designed, if you think about it, it just works. We are told our life is born from the Queen, and to the Queen it returns. However, that's only if you make it to your homecoming. But what of the others? What of those who fall on the battlefield? Nobody knows. Where do they go? Seeing moats rise into the sky serves to dispel any unease. You end up believing, well, they're going somewhere. But where is somewhere? The Queen's place? No clue. You what, mate? That's kind of non-committal for you. Disappointed. What comes nah, after death? Not fast. Mm -hmm. It's not a question of knowledge, because nobody knows what comes after death. It's a question of faith. I think that's what the perspective is, right? The whole purpose of the... These rituals and whatnot. Hey, it's that lettuce cutting animation again. <laughs> I remember that from Torna. You lot, why are you making that stuff out here? Colony's got a perfectly good kitchen. Out of commission, apparently. Somebody made a real mess of the place. W hold on a sec. Sorry, Mia. I, if we hadn't done what we did, chances are we would have all been dead by now. Uh, th that's why we... It's all right. Everyone understands why. You were really brave, Senna. Uh, really? You're not just saying that? Nope. Man, this real thrill of travel, excitement mounting. Huh. Seriously, Nopon can be a bit too easy going. What's going on into the lands? Everyone deals with things in their own way. Is that right? And why are you acting all normal? It was Yorin! He was... Ah, uh, you know what? Like yeah, fair. I suppose. That would have shaken him. You think you're the reason for that, do you? Huh? In that case, I'm telling you to drop it right now. So Yorin turned up. That alone isn't so bad. Of course it is! Figuring out why it happened. That's what we should do. What do you mean? why it happened 
The reason we became Ouroboros. The reason the world looks like this. It's all connected. I'm sure of it. Or maybe you just want it that way. Better than being stuck in the past. I won't. I can't. I'll never snuffing forget. Hmm, <sighs> you were just talking about guilt and atonement, any right? Life in those bodies, but the moats still rose. Yeah, see, I was asking about that. So that means I knew it. What does it mean? That it doesn't matter what life, it doesn't actually send anyone off, it's just a thing that happens? The dead don't think anything. They don't speak. But survivors speak for them. To celebrate their life and death. That's why I'm here. I'm guessing that's the previous Offseer, before, before Noah. Lance, we are still alive. Hmm. It ain't like you to sulk like this. Piss off. Now I'll bust your chops. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe not, but I'm getting warmer. Uni, for Spark's sake, breathe the room. Hard pass. Look, Lance, I was there too. Oh. No one's asking you to forget. Noah's just saying, move on. Ah, Noah. He's always a step ahead, eh? You know he's an Offseer. He's closer to it all than we are. To the ones who are gone. Being left, it... It ain't easy. I know. Still... I don't want to disappear. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Not like... We can afford to go just yet. You know, these are some really damn good scenes. And Xenoblade's always had a lot of these, you know, both 1 and 2, they've had some really good scenes, but these... These are some really good character moments. It's like the appropriate, uh, emotional responses from things and everything. But since we're going to the Great Pot Falls, we won't need to this time. My Muggy. Like, like Fonsa Maima? The tunnels are up ahead. Okay, this is too much of a coincidence. This is Uriah, oh, which would pro here. wait that would that would make that area from earlier Fonsa Maima, wouldn't it? Like, damn! If that's the case, what happened to it? I don't know how long, how much time has passed and all, but yeah. Have I mentioned how much I like these side quests? Because I really like these side quests. They're, they're like dealing with like the fallout of like, you know, every time we do, every time we liberate a colony, like how do the people, how do the people in the colony react, you know, and they're like, 
If you think about it, yeah, there would be people who react like this, right? It's a big change. So there's a lot to think about there. You know, if they have literal in-universe sirens going off when that thing goes on for too long, I am not ruling out the possibility that they really are robots <laughs> of some kind. Oh. They are very silly hats. That's basically what it comes down to. They are, yeah, Mobius is the society for silly helmets. That's what that's what they are. Their entire ominous plan is to give everybody silly helmets. Truly an evil organization. Pretty interesting, right? Like, but like I mentioned the last time, you know, these guys don't do burials. They don't do cremations. They don't really have any way of remembering the dead. Like, it seems like they don't have a concept of remembering the dead at all. The sending off is down far away from their homes and everything, you know, so... It's like they're discovering ways to remember people and so on and so forth. It's interesting. And also... It vague, it actually kind of reminds me of like... In Xenoblade 2 with Core Crystals, you know? Like, the memories don't... Up here to exit the Great Falls area. If you're having a hard time, Mimi, I'll be more than happy to carry you. Like, you know, the memories of the core crystals vanish from lifetime to lifetime, so if you want to remember them, you need to specifically do something special to remember them, like keep a journal, you know? Or at least, uh, rather, if they want to remember. Or they'll need people to tell them, you know, like, what were th what was my past life like, you know? What were they like? That's what made me think, uh, that's what it made me think of, I suppose. Wait a second. Now let's get out of the way. Hey, this one means business. Oh. Well, that looks like a titan, right? That looks like a... That looks like a smaller titan. <laughs> titan rock. Oh. Yeah. I like how I said it and immediately that was... Immediately, like, I got my answer. Person to the war front. This looks like more Adanian, uh architecture. Yeah, it's ex it's not it doesn't look like it. It is Moradanian architecture. How do you shoot in that though? Orion Mountains. Oh, a terrible shame. Her Majesty has a soft spot for them. Please do not think ill of me. Death Star. Huh. Man, Uriah has been taking a lot of shit lately. Another thing that it suddenly occurred to me, I think I know, like I was about to say, this reminds me of the Ruins of Morita. And then it hit me. Magna Forest and Ruins of Morita. Magtha. I wonder if that's what they're aiming for. Literally, these guys just gave up and died. They're like, take us death. We don't care anymore. We've been abandoned, we have no other, we have no people around us. All that stuff. Ugh. Juniper! Yeah, well, like I said, this hero quest was a little bit short. I was kind of hoping for at least maybe one more scene in between to really explore it. I think it's safe to say we were all partially guilty of negligence this time. This was the fault of negligence! Huh? I don't know. They look tasty enough to me. Bright fig not good for eating even after full yellow. Still have to wait another year before able to enjoy. That's too long. Man, so much for that. Ah. Uh, Never mind. You can always come back next year. You're gonna start Let's talking sad right. stuff. You uh. don't wanna miss out. Guess we'll have to. But me, a year from now. Mm. Even if I might not get to do it, you guys can still have a taste. Yeah, uh, things Why are getting depressing you... again. Whoa. Love, you've got to stop being so detached about it. You'll just get everyone feeling guilty. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please don't mind me. Don't mind me, she says. Of course we're gonna mind you, doll. They're gonna use this tree in the ending, I hey, swear. I'm gonna get real sad. Why so casual about it? Mm. What do you mean, casual? I assure you, I'm not. 
I'm actually pretty flustered. You deaf I don't look it. If it looks that way to you, well, that's because I shouldn't even be here. What do you mean? This life's a gift from a dear friend. It should have been me. I should have died out there that day. So this isn't really me. I'm just living on her time. Maybe that's why. Hmm. You know, now we're gonna end up suspecting all these people who died in sacrifices are the are the members of Mobius, right? Her friend's definitely one of them at this rate. Because oh the delicious drama. Somehow, that reminds me of us. I know. When we're interlinked, I can see a glimpse. Inferno. Destruction. Land screaming. Noah's memories. What if... Bear with me. That friend of yours, she showed up like Euron. As an enemy? As an enemy. I suppose I'd want to know same as Lance. We're discussing the Simply possibility. Why? Gotcha. I figured. Mm. Why is it that you gave your life for mine? Why? You could have lived longer yourself, Miyabi. Why did you do it? So her name was Miyabi. Sorry. Guess it's a sensitive subject. Funny. I thought I had it all locked down. Thank you. God damn, this main this I main lane motif is so sad. I'd accept it. Facts. Whatever the truth may be. And that's it. No looking back. While my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards, can I now? Your partners now, eh? <laughs> I suppose you are at that. Hmm? I wonder, how does he see things? Yeah. I think there's more food to find over there. Yeah, this main lane would say if it's gonna get me bawling my eyes out, bawling my eyes out eventually. Meridu Turk, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Observing, <laughs> Muto love. You've got a cat. You've got a happy pair going on here. Hmm, funny. I see. And there's only one choice. Yes, only one. Ignore the objective and duel each other to the death. It's the energy I'm getting from these two. Hmm, I wonder. Huh? You're an offseer, Noah. I thought you were sharper than this. What's that supposed to? You better give her a good apology later, you hear? Got it? Promise me that. Uh sure. Man, this is heavy stuff. I guess, like, we're already kind of playing the, like, you know, terminal illness, only got a few months left kind of deal. Yeah, uh, you can count me out for any of that. Huh? Well, maybe. Maybe? What do you mean? Uh, uh, forget it. In any case, 
It has no bearing on our objective. Ah, uh, he cares. We'll he's just this done. The next stop, the city. He's just got he's bad at hiding it. For Mio's sake. First time we've agreed on something, eh? It is. Hey. <laughs> What's that in aid of? Do the right thing. Come on. <laughs> do, do you not know what this gesture is? Sorry, but I refuse to debase myself like this. Oh. <laughs> he got rejected. Ah, oh, that sucks. Right. You be that way. At least Lance isn't offended. Say, wanna exchange flutes? What? But isn't that? I, I guess it's a little too icky. No, no, I, I don't care about that. I'm just trying. I just to say... like it to be used a little longer. That's so sad. Time, may I be lost? Damn. You'll still be around after me. Mio. I get it. All right, it's a trade. You should know. Mine's seen better days too. Don't worry. I don't really mind either. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Well played, Xenoblade. Well played. <sighs> Thank you for the chat. I'm kind of surprised. Surprised? Even after interlinking, there's still things I don't know about you. Well, of course. How can you when there are things I don't understand myself? You're not going to pick up on everything. Got to put it into words first. Yeah, but it doesn't always work, even then. Like last night. Oh, that. That was me being selfish. But now, I feel like we're starting to get on the same wavelength. Maybe interlinking just helped that along. To bring us a little closer together. Maybe, yeah. That might just be it. This game is so good. Oh god, this game is so good. That was perfectly executed. Oh, he's doing the shadow demon thing. Oh my god! I am. I am under no one's yoke. Holy shit! Wait. I am. I am free. Is that why Vandom had an eye patch? Are you about to start dueling each other? Oh, they are. <laughs> what the going on? Screw the objective, let's just have a duel to the death. No. This is, it's what they Was I wrong about Kaoravi? Is he not gonna be a hero? Oh, damn. This is Bionis and Meconis. I feel 
I feel like that could have. Okay, it's not exactly the same, but that definitely feels like a Bionis and Mechonis callback, right? Also, damn, they killed them off, both of them. Damn. They died as they lived, though. Free. Damn, that's a good shot. Oh, that is hideous. That is that is an Evangelion. Ugh, caught on sea. <laughs> Do try to curb your disgust. Oh boy. Two worlds become one? <laughs> that was an Asura's Wrath moment. Hey, she, she didn't even interlink to do that. She just punched him. She did it by herself? Wow. Chad Mio. Uh oh. Oh, uh, they're, they're gonna blow up. No, we have to get away from them. We have to retreat. We're not gonna make it. Oh, shit. Mio, I'm on it. Huh? Mio, what are you? This is it. It's the only way. Oh, damn. They suffer off the, the ground. They suffer off the ground. I thought they were gonna suffer off of them. Godspeed, you bastards. See, I was taking like four attempts and really struggling to pull off the clutch win really made that feel satisfying. <laughs> Chat, it just occurred to me. It just occurred to me that console N kind of looks like Noah, right? I mean, if we look closely. Yeah, Noah has blue eyes too. The hair color and the eyes are the same. Seeing him next to Yoran, or Console J, I suppose, it suddenly occurred to me. Because we know there's like uh, duplicates of them running around, right? Like when they make the when they're making these soldiers, um, they don't necessarily make unique identities for all of them. I think that's what we got out of it. So even the consoles, maybe. I don't actually know. I mean, Here's a goodie. there's a lot of things it could be clones or like clones and originals. There's possible things there, maybe even like actually deaf, and then they revive them. There's a lot of things it could be, but yeah, console and could be another Noah, which would make that other console next to him with the fur coat. I don't know. Could it be Lance? That one's a little bit iffier, I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but it's making me think. The, the Queen Melia. Met. That's the Queen of Kevers. Melia. You have returned. Wait, actually my beloved soldiers. Actual Melia? What? What? I mean, I. A console. I figured. I mean, we all suspected it was right, but. You dare to intrude on the presence of Her Majesty, Melia Antiqua? Okay, it really is Melia, huh? Why is she evil though? Golden console. What? 
is this guy? Why is she evil? He's not like the other consuls we've met. Mio, be careful. <sighs> it's no way, yeah. isn't it? Uh, sorry. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Don't worry. I'm okay. What? I know him. It's Noah. But from where? I'm I'm ninety nine percent certain it's Noah. Or a Noah. The hair, the eyes. Yeah, it's him. What is She is using melee attacks, yeah. Summon earth and summon wind there. She's, she's shooting elementals at us, yes. It is her. But you know, they're, they're bringing up copies and all this other stuff in the background. Maybe it's a clone of her? I don't know. She's talking about a system. Yeah, there's definitely things that aren't what they seem. There are things that we need to find out. To be fair, we only know it's- we only have a word for it. I mean, it's probably gonna be actually Melia under there, yeah. But that still doesn't actually answer anything, given the fact that, you know, we're established that clones, I guess, exist. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just- I'm just thinking out loud. Whoa, Melia. Could you always do that? You've never done that before. That's a big spirit bomb. Uh. Huh. What? What she? Wait, was I right? Are they robots? Melia was a robot. That's not. Is a machine. Damn. Are they all machines? <laughs> okay, what the hell is going on? Queen, you haven't given up your false hope. Very well. By all means, look on. Witness how hollow your hope rings as I slice it all to ribbons. What? Again, blast it. Why does he make my head hurt? Noah, what's wrong? We're not done yet. Take up your blade. The way he's, the way he's talking, it sounds like the queen does exist, but sh she's not part of this plan. Many have tried, but none have ever managed to escape its flow. Wait, that sword. How does he... Oh yeah, he's... Take off your mask, Noah. And if it does... What will you do then? Neo? Need you ask? I will give us equilibrium. A time unchanging. Our eternity. Okay, um, a lot of questions, some answers, I guess, um, there was not Melia, there was a robot duplicate of Melia, so maybe, maybe we don't have a real Melia, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if the robot guess was applicable to everybody, I don't know if everybody's a robot or just the queen. Now that I think about it, maybe it's just the queen. Maybe both queens are just robots, you know? Which means I, I guess that would make... If every if it is what everybody thinks it is, you know, like Nia's the Agnes queen, then, you know, that's gonna be a, a Nia robot, right? So... I guess they're using the likenesses of old Xenoblade characters as their queens. We don't know if they actually exist in this world still. But... Um, they're definitely using their image, right? Although they were like the way console N, which it's 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 Noah, obviously it's Noah and Mio, we can tell. The way 
uh, Evo Noah was talking, it seemed like uh, the Queen's aren't what they were working with. They just like usurp the authority for it and they're working towards something or other. So yeah, there we go. I guess Mobius is the true evil. The Queen's are uh, not part of it. And uh, there's definitely some clone shenanigans going on as uh, we surmised from earlier. But yeah, motivations. A lot of that stuff we're not sure about. <laughs>